Kids Corner. In this session, we shall see lesson four, Tom Sawyer. Please subscribe to to my channel. For any questions, post them in the comment box. Tom Sawyer, Chapter One. This is Tom Sawyer. Tom, no answer. Tom, no answer. Where can he be? Aunt Polly asked herself. He must be somewhere. She went to the door, looked at into the garden, and then shouted again. Tom, Tom, no answer. The old lady stood there thoughtfully. Suddenly, she heard the sound behind her. She turned round quickly. There was Tom. Near the cupboard door, there was jam all around his mouth. What have you been doing? Aunt Polly asked angrily. And Tom did not answer. She went on. She went on. You have been stealing the jam again. Don't tell me that you haven't. Hunt, I told you a hunt. Hundred times to keep away from that cupboard. That's my stick. Aunt Polly took her stick, raised it higher. She was ready to strike Tom hard. Look behind you, Auntie! Shouted Tom. Aunt Polly looked behind her. This was Tom's chance. He rushed out of the house. He climbed over the. Fence. Soon he was far away. Aunt Polly was angry, but she had to laugh. He is a bad boy, she said herself. But I love him. He is my poor dead sister's boy, and my master look after him. I don't like to hit him, but I have to. If I don't punish him, he will grow up lazy and wicked. Yes, I must be stricter. Aunt Polly sighed. I will have to punish him for stealing the jam. But how? I know tomorrow is Saturday and there's no school on Saturdays. The boys have a holiday. But I will make Tom work. That will punish him. Tom ran away from the school that. Afternoon. It was a lovely day, and so he went to the woods with his friend Joe Harper. They had a good time there, playing cowboys, and he went home late that evening. When he went in, his aunt and his brother sat having their soup. His aunt felt certain that Tom had not been to school. She did not say so, but she began asking Tom questions like this. It was hot in school this afternoon, wasn't it, Tom? Yes, Auntie. Rather hot. You wanted to go swimming, didn't you? No, Auntie. Not really. Let me look at your collar. Aunt Polly, this because she used to sew Tom's collar together so that he could not take his shirt off. Then, of course, he could not go swimming. Aunt Polly examined Tom's collar. It was still soon together. Ha! She cried. You didn't go swimming. You are a good boy, Tom. Aunt Polly said. Aunt Polly said, "Sit." You saw the, his collar with white thread, and now the thread is black. Look, Tom jumped up from the table and ran outside. 
he he shouted over his shoulder to his brother i will fight you for that he was angry with sit he was also angry with himself sometimes she used white thread and she used black why didn't i notice that he was thinking suddenly he saw in front of him a boy who was new to the village tom had never seen this boy before the boy looked very strange to tom he was wearing the fine clothes and he had shoes on tom wore shoes only on sundays and he did not like them he did not like this new boy either i can knock you down he said to the boy try i can if i want to you cannot i can you cannot i tell you i can for a moment there was a pause both boys were breathing hard then tom asked what is your name i shall not tell you i can knock you down with one hand try it you say can do it but you cannot you are afraid who is afraid you are i am not you are the two boys looked at each other very angry they they moved near each other now their shoulders were touching both boys began pushing they pushed each other hard then they stopped for a moment with his big toe tom draw line in the dust if you step over that line i will fight you he said the new boy at once step over that line the next moment the two boys started fighting they fought like two wild cats hitting kicking and scratching each other both were on the ground now rolling in the dust their clothes were torn and dirty their noses were bleeding tom was stronger of the two at last he sat on the new boy have you had enough he asked the boy did not answer he tried hard to stand up tom hit him again at last the boy cried enough then tom let him get up the the boy began to walk away with one hand he was brushing the dust from his from his clothes with the other hand kerchief to his nose tom stood there laughing at him the new boy then picked up a stone and threw it at tom tom ran away after him but he could not catch him the boy ran home tom waited for some time outside his house he waited there till the boy's mother came out go away she shouted you are a bad boy wicked boy tom slowly walked home when aunt polly saw his clothes he was very angry you been fighting again she said very and very well i i shall punish you tomorrow you will have to work hard no swimming for you tomorrow no playing either Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.
For any questions, post them in the comment box.